All right, Russell. Okay, thanks, Ron. Take it away. So, so uh, once again, through the uh, wonders of uh, Zoom and the internet, uh, we're uh, here to welcome uh, Mr. Riley Triggs all the way from uh, Austin, Texas, uh, to tell us uh, the ins and outs of uh, the online uh, NMRA uh, magazine. So uh, welcome, Riley, and I'll let you take it from here. <clears throat> Great. Thanks so much for having me. And thanks to Fred and Russ and Ron for putting this together and letting me come and uh, talk a little bit about our new digital version of the NMRE magazine. And uh, and I will say, you know, Gordy Robinson, our fearless leader and president is here. So I've, I've removed all the jokes about Gordy uh, since I found out he, he joined. Uh, but if you want to hear those, I, I can do those later on if, uh, if you're interested. Um, so this project, uh, and feel free to, if you want to hop in with any questions or anything, it's a little hard on Zoom, but if, if you have a question about anything in particular, happy to, to take that during the presentation or afterwards as well. So don't, don't be shy. Um, so way back um, last year in July, uh, when Gordy took office, uh, one of the first things that he wanted to do was to uh, look at the possibility of having our magazine available digitally to all of our members. And a, a short nine months later, uh, we accomplished that uh, after going through, um, you know, some, some due diligence on different formats and different desires by members and um, discussing with the board and uh, going through a, a lot of uh, vetting and um, you know, some surveys of members and all of that to finally arrive at the solution we did uh, with Xenio, which which is now available. Uh, but I think this really shows what the possibilities are for the organization. Um, you know, this this is something that uh, others said couldn't be done. And, um, you know, Gordy was able to do this in, in nine months. And I know there's a there's a lot more stuff on the way too that uh, are really exciting and uh, will really benefit the organization. So the first thing to know about the digital version of the NMRA magazine is that you can still get the paper copy. And you are probably still getting the paper copy if, uh, if you had a subscription to it. And you can continue to get the paper copy if you are interested in doing that. Uh, the idea with the digital version is that, you know, some people prefer that. Uh, some people prefer paper, so we've provided that choice for you guys. Um, some, some would like both, uh, which is perfectly fine as well. So all we're really doing with the magazine is updating the delivery method. We're, we're just trying to keep up with uh, changing lifestyles, making it easier and faster to, to have the magazine available to you wherever you go. Um, you know, you can, you can view the magazine on your computer, on mobile devices, you can be on planes, trains, automobiles, sitting by the pool, um, you know, now you're, you're fully connected wherever you are, um, which, is, uh, which, which is a really cool thing. And this is the way I have turned towards uh, reading most of my magazines at this point, um, just because of my lifestyle, I can... I can read these things like in between meetings during the day or when I'm on vacation and I don't have to, to lug around piles of, of paper magazines and uh, have to deal with that. So, uh, so again, this is available, but if you like paper, you can still get paper and, um, and no worries whatsoever. So a little bit about the evolution of uh, the NMRA magazine. Uh, it started out as a one-page typewritten bulletin, uh, number one, way back in 1935. Uh, and as we've moved through the decades since, it's changed names, changed formats, uh, changed stylings, et cetera. And this is just taking us into the digital age. And uh, we're still featuring great content coming from members like you. So the idea with this is that now you can get the, the magazine anytime and anywhere. Uh, and if I haven't mentioned it already, you can still get the paper version if you prefer that. So nothing has changed except uh, now we have an extra option. So this means that uh, you can enjoy the magazine anywhere and anyhow you like to. But it also means that now it's available to anyone. Um, we've got a younger generation coming up who, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, despite all of the doom and gloom naysayers who think the hobby is dying, um, there are kids everywhere who are interested in this. There are teenagers, there are college students, there are young adults with families, a um, bunch of people interested in model railroading right now. And this is a really great way to introduce them to the NMRA and, and to the hobby and to be available uh, for them on devices that they're already probably staring too much at these days, uh, but being on screens is a really great way to uh, engage younger crowd, um, as well as, you know, us old fogies that um, have really taken up uh, the digital age with, you know, Facebook and our mobile devices, our iPads and, and Android tablets. Um, so we're, we're coming to our audience and we're, we're making this available in a very convenient way. So as I've said, you can you can get this on mobile devices. It's available in the App Store, uh, on Google Play if you have an Android device, and then a good old computer browser on your desktop or laptop computer at nmra.zenioapps.com. Um, so again, you can you can choose the digital format that you wish, and uh, and this is convenient for you uh, whenever and wherever you're ready for it. So what I wanna do is show you a little bit about how to get signed up on this and a little bit about how to use it just in case you haven't uh, done so, so far. Um, so first off, when you go to uh, the, the URL, the nmra.zenioapps.com, this is what you'll see on the, the homepage. And, um, and what we, we've done is we, we highlight some of, um, some of the articles that are in recent issues up here that you can preview. Um, and for people who are, are not members, uh, you know, gives them an idea of what's going on in the magazine and uh, perhaps entice them to join the organization. And then down below uh, starts the list of, of the recent magazines and, uh, and covers of things that are available right now. Uh, we have all of our publications going back to, or all of our magazines going back to October of 2020. Um, so with your membership and with registration with this digital version, uh, you can go back and you can view any of those previous magazines. So the first thing to know is that when you try to read one of these, you just come to the website cold and you're just checking this out. Uh, you're going to see a page like this when you try to read one of the issues. And if you'll notice, you know, this, this one happens to be free. We've got one up there. Uh, it's the April 2022 version. Uh, for people to check out to see if they they like this and if they um, perhaps might want to get involved in the NMRA. But if you want to to read just a uh, a regular issue, what you need to do is you need to go up to the top right hand corner and that that icon up in the top right, and that's the the profile or login icon. Because what we need to do is we need to get you registered for uh, this digital version. So you'll get a little pop up. And just so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and the first time that you log in, you're going to want to go down here to the link that says register here. Uh, and that's because we don't automatically have you registered for the digital magazine. What you'll need to do is use your NMRA.org website email that you use to sign in there and use that as your email here. Uh, input it into the email line and then uh, you get to create a password of your choice. So you can't just use your regular NMRA.org website login. Uh, you have to create one here before you can see all of the issues. And then click the register button, uh, and that checks just to make sure that you are a, a member of the NMRA. And then you'll be able to click the read now button and, uh, and be able to enjoy any of the issues that are on, uh, on our app. So once you get in, you'll default to this PDF version. So it will look just exactly like the magazine, except digitally, and we're all used to seeing PDFs. Uh, and this is just a PDF that has some extra features built in and extra navigation and whatnot. Uh, so to get around, uh, you can flip arrows uh, on the left and right of the page, or there's a slider bar down at the bottom. And then there's also a way to, to get around yeah, looking at the table of contents and whatnot. But this is a pretty standard way of viewing PDFs online now, so it should be somewhat familiar to everybody. 
And then you can also zoom in and out of this PDF. Um, so getting a better view of the images, or if you want the text larger, uh, you can zoom in and out with uh, the icons down at the bottom right there. Then on the left, um, there's, there's a menu that helps navigate through this. Uh, there's the home page button, the table of contents. Uh, so that will show um, all the articles and you can navigate there as well. You can bookmark articles to come back to later on. So, you know, like people used to, to clip stuff out of magazines and save them in folders and whatnot. Now you can just bookmark them digitally. And whenever you go into the app, you can go through your bookmarks and uh, find those articles that you want to view again. Uh, then there's a flowable text feature, which I'll show you, which changes the format a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to read. And then uh, printing to paper or printing to, to PDF is also an option. So when you go into that table of contents, uh, in the PDF view, you'll get this view that shows um, uh, all of the articles in order, uh, starting from the cover, going all the way down. And you can simply click on there and go to any of the pages uh, that you want to see, and you can scroll through the entire magazine that way. So it's a very quick way to navigate, um, especially if you've already like looked through the magazine and you know you're looking for a particular article. And then there's a little feature that's called flowable text. And what this does is this just um, changes the format so that it's easier to read. And it's mainly for mobile devices. So you can imagine, you know, viewing a PDF on, on your iPhone or, or Android phone. Um, it, it can be a little bit small. And so what this does is this makes the text larger. It, it changes the colors of, uh, of the text in the background, so it's a little bit easier to read. And then it has all the photos in there too, and you can, uh, you can look through the photos uh, just the same as, as with the PDF. Uh, there's also some, um, some things that you can uh, control with this. You can control the background color, uh, the size of the text, things like that. And I've talked to a lot of people who do this on their computer screen too. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to read the text and a lot easier to kind of scroll through things since it's on the computer. And then if you want to go back to the PDF view, you just hit that uh, hit that A icon again, and it'll take you back to the PDF. Um, we are also able to view things offline. Um, so if you have Chrome or Edge browsers, and it only works in Chrome and Edge um, and they really only support Chrome, but Edge uses the same technology. Um, you'll get a little pop-up the first few times that you use this that say, you know, download now. And this downloads the NMRA app onto your computer. Um, and you can also get to it later on by, by looking at the, uh, you go to the, the three dots at the top right of your browser window. Uh, and there's an install NMRA magazine choice there. Uh, and it does the same thing. But what that does is that actually installs a little app from your browser um, to allow you to use your browser in an offline mode and allow you to download whole issues, as many as, as you want, uh, so you can view it offline. Um, and so this really helps if you have maybe a slow internet connection um, or especially with mobile devices, you can download these and use them on an airplane without having to be connected to the internet. So when you do that and you download magazines, uh, there's uh, there's an area in the app that's called downloaded, and it'll show what issues you have downloaded and which ones you can uh, to access. You can also uh, uh, archive issues so that you kind of clean up things, uh, but you can always go back and get them later on if you want to. Um, and um, and there's, you know, a couple of different ways to maneuver around based on how you like to, to navigate through the issues that you have. And then the other really exciting part, I think, about this is that now we're available on mobile devices uh, in a really nice uh, accessible format. Uh, and again, you can take it anywhere with you. So it's available in the App Store, the Apple App Store and Google Play. And the sign up uh, procedure, you, you can do it directly from your mobile too. Uh, but once you register, you'll be able to use the same email and uh, password combination on both computer and mobile. So you only need to do this once, but you can do it on your mobile device if you want to. Uh, same sort of thing, there's going to be a, a, a sign up uh, that you go to um, that will allow you to put in your, again, nmra.org email address. 
but then you choose a, a password just for this digital uh, version and for digital access. So it looks very similar uh, to the desktop version, um, but of course things are uh, a little bit smaller and a little bit more compact. And again, that's where that flowable text feature really comes in handy. So if you look at the, uh, you know, the second image here, that's showing uh, the PDF version, and that's obviously kind of small to read on, on a phone. Uh, but if you go in the flowable text feature, which is the third image, you can see how now it becomes much easier to read. You can scroll through it with your thumb and navigation is a whole lot easier. And here, just like on the desktop version, you've got the ability to change the background colors, to change the text size. And so you can make this look however you like the best and whatever is easiest for you to read. Uh, and then same sort of features are available if you um, if you want to bookmark things. If you look at this this third image uh, from the left, um, you've got uh, a whole list of bookmarks that show up. And when you click that bookmark, you'll go directly to that issue and directly to that article within there without having to search through all the different issues and finding what article that you'd like to to read again. And so I think, you know, this app is really exciting to me because it's really getting us uh, in front of another generation who's really used to accessing information like this and reading um, for, you know, for fun uh, on their mobile devices. Uh, and, and I think there's going to be a, a huge collateral effect to people finding the NRMRA and model railroading through these apps. So on the app store, if you search for model railroading, uh, we'll come up somewhere in there. Um, I haven't checked lately, so I don't know how close to the top we come. Um, but it, it provides us, you know, that outlet and that opportunity for people to find us, which is entirely different from uh, all the other avenues that we already have for people to get engaged with our organization. So this puts us kind of on the worldwide stage for anybody who uses an app. Um, and, you know, weekly we get, um, I'm trying to remember what the last figures were, but you know, weekly we could get several hundred people just stumbling upon this app um, and, you know, being able to um, kind of look at the sample issue if they're, if they're really interested in downloading it. Uh, and again, another way to, to grow our organization and to get our, our faces out there and show the opportunities that our organization has. So if I didn't mention it before, you can still get the magazine on, in paper form. You can uh, you can subscribe to that just like you have before by adding that onto your membership. But you get the digital version um, with uh, that's included in your membership fee right now. And so everybody all over the world who, um, except for people in Australia, but that's a that's a separate discussion, uh, can access the the digital version of this magazine just by being a member of the NMRA. And that's really exciting because that's taken us from having a few thousand people subscribe to our, our magazine and have, uh, you know, kind of that communication channel open between everybody in, in our organization to suddenly now, you know, 14,000 members worldwide uh, have access to this and, um, and can use it as a, a touch point and uh, as a means of engagement for our organization. So when you renew your membership next, you can choose not to get the paper if you're, you're getting it right now, and you'll still have this digital access, or you can continue to subscribe to the paper version and you'll get that just uh, as you always have been. So to learn more about this, uh, if you go to the nmra.org website and you go to uh, this URL down at the bottom, it's the nmra-digital-magazine page, or you can just search for it uh, in publications on the website. Um, there's a lot more information there. There's some FAQs. Um, there are some demonstration videos for some of the stuff that I showed you, plus some other things. Uh, links to the back issues that we also have um, uh, located up on the website. Um, uh, there was a, a, a big team and a big push the past couple of years to digitize all of the previous NMRE magazines, and those are available online as well. And there's some information uh, about that there. Uh, that's on the regular website, not on the digital version. Um, and those are up as PDFs, and you just navigate those as you would any P PDF. Um, so 
that's all I've got right now. I just kind of wanted to to let you guys know what was going on, how this how this worked, and I'm available for any questions if you have them now, or you know, feel free to contact me um, at pubs at nmra.org anytime you wish, uh, and I will will help you out. But I'm happy to entertain any questions if you guys have any at this point. Yeah, Riley Russell here. A um, couple of questions. Uh, one is, uh, uh, do you have a rough number of how many uh, members just have or just want the the, the digital versus uh, or you know still want the just the plain old uh, paper copy? And uh, you know, I know long term, but can you see that possibly? you know, maybe another five, 10 years from now that you won't even make the paper copy? Well, I don't have the specific numbers right in front of me, but we have noticed that there are fewer paper subscriptions as people start to renew. So this just became available in April. So we just have a few months of people, um, you know, coming up in the renewal cycle anyway. But we have noticed that the paper subscriptions are dropping a little bit. And we do have about 4,500 people who um, are signed up for the digital version. Um, and I think, I think there were maybe 9,000 or 8,000 people who are subscribed to the paper copy. So, you know, we've, we've almost doubled our readership um, by starting to offer it this way. Um, and I think people are going to, you know, take a little while to figure out what their preferred method is. Um, we, we do want to start taking advantage of this digital platform to do things that, um, we haven't been able to do before necessarily, um, in a, in a cheap and very accessible way. So we are going to be having some other things, uh, start to occur, um, uh, on this platform. And, you know, I think as time goes on, we'll be able to add more and more stuff and uh, maybe make this more attractive, um, either in addition to the paper copy or, or people just wanting digital versions. Um, I can't predict the future. I don't know what people are going to want 10 years from now. Um, but, uh, you know, at this point, we've got the options and people can try it out. And, uh, you know, if we, if we go down and only 100 people, you know, are subscribing to the paper magazine, then, you know, I, I don't know if that'll be worth uh, printing anymore, but we may go to print on demand or, you know, who, who knows what the, the situation is going to be a few years from now. Sure. A absolutely. I, I just, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, I think different publications are striving that way or, or kind of looking that way that, uh, again, like you said, cost and then distribution and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, yeah, do, you find and... that, do you find that uh, uh, what, what you print uh, on the digital is pretty much verbatim what's on the, on the paper copy or, or uh, do, you, do you, because it is digital, you can do, do a little more with that uh, than the paper copy? Well, at this point, it's an exact replica of what you get in the paper copy. Mm -hmm. um, but we are looking at taking advantage of the digital platform here in the, the near future. Um, so we will be able to do some other stuff um, without making any, any promises right now out in public. Uh, sure. But we are working on it. And, okay. uh, and I think, you know, the, the takeaway from this is that we're being responsive to to technology, to members' desires, uh, to lifestyle changes. Um, and we're really trying to match what uh, our members want and you know, try to add the most value we can to the membership um, you know, in any way that we can. So this is just, just kind of one way of showing um, how we're trying to do this as an organization. Thank you. <clears throat> any questions here in the room for Riley? Wow, fantastic presentation, Riley. Nobody has a question. I know it must have been just perfect, right? Yeah, so, yeah. I think so. Uh, don't don't make it sound too complicated. I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be uh, it is simple as pie. Once you get organized and registered, 
bookmark where the magazine is. You don't ever have to do it and it re redo anything. It's always there. Very simple. If you have it, try it. If you're online, if you can handle a, uh, the online Zoom call, you can handle NMRA magazine on digital. Off. There you go. There you go. That's that's the testimony I'm looking for, Mark. Thanks a lot. Awesome endorsement. You might want to put him on your website. I know, right? You want to buy some train tables? I mean, uh, uh. <laughs> here's a question from the audience. Riley, uh, Stan White, uh, I really think that I go along with what he said. The, the online, the app for Apple is extremely easy to download, uh, extremely efficient the way it works. Uh, you can go back up and pick past articles. If you saw something you with magazines, you saw something in a magazine and you wanted to go back and find it. You never could find it this way. You can go right back into it and find it. So very job well, very well done. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, there is a search feature too. So you can search across all the issues that we have up there. Uh, so if you're interested in, you know, Southern Pacific steam locomotives, you put that in and you'll get a list of um, everything that has that, that phrase in there. Um, so it does make it a lot easier to use as a reference tool. Um, and so, you know, as we add more issues and whatnot, it'll just become more and more valuable for that. It seems like a real bargain to only increase our membership for only $14 a year with all this content and information. Thank yes. You. And, and if you're doing this instead of the, uh, the paper subscription, <clears throat> you're saving money, you know, you're, you're saving 28 bucks or whatever it is at this point. Um, and you know, if you compare this to a subscription to model railroader or, uh, RMC or anything online or in paper, uh, you just can't beat this for the price. Um, lots of great content, um, you know, it's directed right at our members. It's coming from our members. Uh, and so it's just, it's a, it's a huge bargain and a, and a huge resource for our organization. Any other questions online, Russ? Uh, no, sir. All right, Riley, thank you so much for giving us your time and for a good presentation. I learned a few things. Great. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, yeah. Th thanks, Riley. We appreciate it.